Yeah, so I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here. Yeah, gotta forgive me, Count. I failed ye. I've never felt less chunky in me life. <laughs> so our hero is real, yes. I wreck force to be reckoned with. Nastasia, the prophecy. Consult it and learn where the hero will go next. We will lay a devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees, Black. Yeah, um, I already sent Mimi to a site picked for that purpose. This pleases Count Black. Excellent work, Nastasia. I have granted Mimi's powers potent enough to ensure that she will obliterate this hero. Yes, he will be helpless against her. I depart. Alert Count Black when the hero is no more. Blah <laughs> Black. Yeah, I'll fire off a memo on that. But for now, we have another item on the agenda. Oh, Chunks, you got a sec? Yeah, so some minions in the Bowser organization are still resisting assimilation. So, I'm heading off to squash the resistance. And while I'm gone, I want you to stay here. Yeah, you just sit tight and think about your recent job performance, okay? This really tweaks me chin hairs. <laughs> what? How did I end up napping here? Wait, didn't that nasty Count Black try to make me marry Bowser? And then Luigi, he... Luigi! Bowser! Anybody there? Oh no, you're the only one on the, the wedding party left standing, it looks like. So you finally woke up, Princess. Oh, you guys, are you alright? Yeah, but who knows what happened. That was one crazy wedding. We can't even find his groomness, you, rem you remember King Bowser? Oh, and the guy with the mustache, I think he had a green tux on or something. Yeah, I'm Luigi, that's the guy. We don't know where he ended up either. The thing is, most of us minions got all brainwashed by that Blex guy's assistance. Everybody's half nuts. It's not safe here. We gotta clear this area. Now! Private Koopa here will escort you, okay? You guys make a break for it. But what about you? What am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go help my men. King Bowser would burn me to a crisp if I left them. Leave no Koopa behind. Good luck out there, Princess. Hail Bowser! Farewell. Okay, lady, we've got to evict this zone. Let's roll! Hi, hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. Now, as you saw in this last cutscene, like, um, well, uh, um, Black has now sent, sent another enemy to stop Mario. Meanwhile, what's this insubordination, Johnson? I am your captain. Drop and give me 20. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to tell you that your orders mean nothing. See? They've already sworn eternal allegiance to Count Black, okay? And now you need to, so I'll just go ahead and pencil you in for a 10 o'clock brainwashing. You just messed with the wrong Koopa! I serve Bowser! You tell this Count! Hail Black! You be a lamb and round him up for me! Yes, ma'am. Oh man, this is going downhill fast. Did you see that? They even broke the captain. Look, lady, if they find us, it is game over. We gotta clear this area. Stat. Okay, so as you just saw, 
it turns out that Count Black has now brainwashed all of Bowser's minions. And now it's up to Peach and that lone Koopa Troopa to find a way out of here. Oh, no! Dead end! Well, staying here won't do us any good. Let's turn around to keep looking. Oh, turn back? You, no. Your friend there had it right. This is your dead end. Who are you, anyway? Fine cover, lady. I'm trained to handle scum like this. All hail Count Black. Wow, Princess, you sure are lucky. I thought the wedding explosion finished you. Yeah, but this is the end of the road, and your luck runs out right here. It's time you came on over and got with the program. Come and serve the Count. Never! Yeah, that's great and all. My hypno powers kind of say otherwise. Just sit tight, okay? Because I gotta brainwash you real quick. What? That wasn't on my schedule. Where'd she go? Well, that's really not a deal breaker. Our prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We have no need for her. And it doesn't matter where she runs, since all worlds are about to fall. I remember that day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. You're awake at last. Where am I? Is this a human's home? Don't wiggle like that. I found you a cliff base. You took quite a fall. You're a human, correct? I don't repulse you. I am the tribe of darkness. Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore an injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day. That was the day our tragedy was set in motion. If you get a pure heart, you can choose to visit specific sections in each chapter. First to Merlin's place! You returned so soon! I can see from your faces that it went well, indeed. Let's head back to my house so you can tell the details. Please, step right in. So, how was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Yeah. Oh ho! So, such pure brilliance! This is a true piece of one true purity heart. We meet Merlumina. She gave it to us. Uh, Lady Merlumina, you were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. She was the one who wrote the light prognosticus to counteract the dark one. Merlumina and those who followed her built this town. That are he or why we here. Master Merlin, bad news. What is it? Get a hold of yourself, lad. You see... You see, a girl fell out of the sky. What? A girl fell out of the sky? What in the world? I don't know. Just please get on the elevator and come up there to see her. So it shall be. And you, Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well.
Oh, okay, I wasn't supposed to go to the tower. Um, yeah, so I was just looking up at the tower, and she fell out of nowhere. She does not look at all familiar to me. Who could this be? What's the matter? Oh. Princess Peach, so this is the princess that Count Black kidnapped. Yeah. Well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time, of that we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious. And she is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Oh no, I know. Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flipside. I am sure she knows a warming and revitalization recipe for this poor girl. Once she revives, we will be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now off with you. Find Saffron the chef on the first floor. I'm on it. Okay, so, so we gotta go see Saffron. I think there's something we gotta pick up here first. Alright. Whoops! Oh, wait a minute. I don't. I, I didn't wanna sell. Bye. And I'm gonna get the fire burst. All right. Okay, so now let's go down the floor. One of these places has to be where we find Saffron. Nope, that doesn't look like it all. Hmm. Welcome to Sweet Smiles. Ooh, sugar, our dishes will turn that little frown right upside down. What? A friend of yours is out cold? Oh, mercy! Well, listen here, sugar. She sounds like she needs some spicy soup. All I need is a fire burst to make a pot of that soup that'll warm her up in a jiffy. Some stores sell fire bursts, so just check the shelves whenever you like to shop. You bring me one, sugar, and I'll make you some toasty, spicy soup. But, ooh, looks like you already have a fire burst, don't you now? Aren't you the enterprising one? Hand it over, and I'll whip up some spicy soup. You want me to create a dish for you with a fire burst? Yes. One spicy soup coming right up, sugar. Sorry about the wait, sugar, but it turned out just right. Now we got some spicy soup. Get it to her just as quick as you can. All right, we're on our way.
It seems to have worked. I feel like I just ate the most delicious thing. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. Mario, you're okay. But where exactly are we? This is Flipside. And who are you? My dear, I am called Merlin, and this is what is known as a pixel. Her name is Tippy. Come, let us adjourn into my house. I would be grateful if you would let us tell, tell you more. And then before I knew it, I awoke and saw Mario, you, and Tippy. Well, my dear, that is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. I just hope they're safe. What should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next. So it is written. There are still more heart pillars to be found in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do so, a door to the world containing the next pure heart will appear. And my intuition tells me the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merlet. Like Pastuvius and I, Merlet is one of the ancients. We are the long lost cousins. Yes, I have heard that Merlet has long guarded an, an ancient and secret treasure. If my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the Light Prognosticus also speaks of her magical powers. Oh, we just need to find this Merlet person, is that it? Oh ho, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself, you've only just recovered, and it may be dangerous. Well, I can't just sit here and let everyone else go off to save the world now, can't I? After all, the void that is spraying in the sky is my fault, mine and Bowser's. Well, I'm going, and that's fine. I've made my decision. Alright! Uh, the Price Princess is headstrong, to be sure. How very refreshing. I insist you take this. Old key. There are secrets in this town that even I do not know. This may be one of the keys to uncovering them. Quite literally, in fact. Please use this key wherever it fits here in town. My intuition tells me you should be able to use it. Very near my house. I will continue to read the light prognosticus and look for any clues that may help. I am sure that musty old tome still has much to teach us. Yes, much indeed. Now, Mario, Princess Peach, do all you can to stop the Count's evil plans. Let's go, Mario. Come on, Tippy. Yeah. When playing as Princess Peach, you can use her umbrella in a few ways. Press and hold 2 while jumping to float slowly down. In addition, press the, the control pen to use your umbrella to guard against enemy attacks. When you want to change your character, choose him or her on the menu screen. Okay, so, I'm thinking that old key will be to open this gate here. Now, flip, and go this way. Should be around here somewhere. I'll see what happens if we switch to Peach.
What's this? Let's try going the other way. Second. See what happens if we go down the pipe. <laughs> nope, that's not it either. Okay, I'm guessing this must be the way to the heart pillar. This must be where Peach's uh, umbrella floating technique will come in handy for the first time. Okay, this is where we're gonna find it. Right here. Uh, and by uh, inserting the next heart... Then the door to Chapter 2 opens. Okay, so I guess I, yeah, I guess I maybe did forget about the part where we had to, we, we had to go through a second narrow path. I thought we only had to go through one, so. Alright, so, so that's why I made, like, nearly a brief pause there on the screen for a second, so. But, hey, well, well I remembered it now, so. So now it's time to head back to Flipside. Well, at least the tower, that is. Actually, there's a safe point right here, so let's stop here. So until next time, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1. Later, folks. <laughs>